One of the most common problems for our patients is that they have dry eye, they've been given artificial tears, they've used the lubricant drops from the drugstore, and they still feel uncomfortable. Their eyes are still red. And the problem is they're not fully treating the problem. They're replacing the water in their tears that's deficient, but they're not replacing the oils that are deficient. Tears are much more complicated than just simply water on the surface of the eye. There's a complex chemistry that's made up of oils and water and salts and mucus and proteins and a bunch of uh, microchemicals that make a huge difference in giving us clear vision. When dry eye is significant, it really blurs vision for people. That's because the surface of the eye is meant to be covered with a glassy smooth layer of water and other elements. And it's like a swimming pool. When no one's been in it and the water is glassy smooth, you can see everything perfectly in the bottom of the pool. When someone puts just a toe in the water, your view goes completely. And this is what happens to people with dry eye. One of the more common problems that makes artificial tears fail is a deficiency of the oil in the tears. And that's because it's very hard to put oil in a bottle that will work and can be supplemented on the, on the tears on the surface of the eye. We want best to produce more of our own oils. And a simple way to do that is to use a warm washcloth. Just simple warm water, not hot, on a washcloth placed on the surface of the eye with gentle pressure on the eyelids will stimulate those oil glands to flow a little bit more. It provides almost instantaneous uh, comfort and it also improves the flow of the oils.